Hello everybody, welcome back with some more Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Today we're going to be using the Tiger's Fang and Dragon's Claw? Whatever. Anyway, we're going to be using the Dual Swords for a little bit just to kind of show them off. I don't think I showed them off yet. Like I said in the last episode. And we're going to be heading to the Monastery. The first thing we do in the Monastery is you come up here and you take you take your first right right here and it'll be a chest with Elixir of Spiritual Life. See, we have nine right now. We don't have ten yet. There will be some enemies spawning in this room, but to get them to spawn in this room, you have to, like, either be out here or something like that, I think. Hold on. Maybe they won't spawn right Yep, there they are. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying I, I basically, practically proved, almost proved myself wrong there for a second. Anyway, these are, like, a new archetype of enemies right here. I think they're, like, I call them mages. I don't know if that's exactly the same name as they should be called, but they're, like, some kind of mancers or something like that. I don't know, they're either mages or like some kind of like mancer ish esque esque kind of character. By the way, the reason why I don't like the Dragon's Claw or Yeah, or Tiger's Fang and Dragon's Claw is because I personally do not like dual swords. I never have, never will. Just I don't like anything besides just one. One's good enough for me. That's like if somebody had like two sides, that would just be ridiculous, that wouldn't. But then again, if you can carry two sides one handed, you're pretty badass, or you're pretty tough. Or strong, at least. I forgot how, like, yeah, I almost forgot, like, the blocking in this game. Like, blocking is definitely a lifesaver for this game. And that's a good thing about it, too, is because, yeah, blocking just, like, a, you know, the second one is rather, di it's not difficult to do because it's just one button press, but I'm saying, like, it's difficult in terms of not getting hit because you will still get a hit when you block, and it's ridiculous sometimes. Sometimes that's just how I feel. If you come in this room, there's actually some books that are glowing blue. And they're just there to read. They're nothing else besides just reading material. I don't care to read... In, well, I read in real life. I'm saying, like, I don't care to read these. Especially just because this is a game and I'm not here to read it. I'm not here to read everything. If this was, like, Silent Hill, maybe. But since this is not Silent Hill or a game I... I mean, I like this game. I mean, I care about this game. Oh my god, that was badass. Okay, sorry about that, but that was just really badass. That is... Okay. <laughs> so these are pretty badass. But they're not badass enough. Not badass enough for me. Not yet, anyway. I'd love to show you guys, like, all the UTs, but, you know, sometimes it's just it's really hard to get UTs off on people sometimes. Because, again, it takes, like, five minutes to frickin' charge up. Like, look at that. That's just ridiculous. Now, you son of a bitch. I'm trying to corner my ass. Little oh, motherfucker. Okay, we need to, like, use the elixir now. Thankfully for us, we got plenty of, you know, normal, small elixirs, and there's also that one outside that I can go back and get. And, of course, he drops the blue essence. No surprise. No surprise. I'm about to just whip out the uh, dragon sword again, even though like this weapon's pretty cool. But maybe I'll think about it. I don't know. I'll probably just keep it on for just a little bit. If you have this, like the history of Vigor, uh, you can read about it and stuff like that. And I just, if you guys are quick on the pause button, you can probably pause it and read it yourselves. But I just don't care for, like, I I just don't care for the story. How about that? Okay, like when it comes to Ninja Gaiden Sigma, I never really cared for the stories. They just never appealed me, you know? They they just didn't make any sense. They went on from one thing to, like, another, and it's, it was just odd. Make sure you grab that incendiary shuriken. Just do it. Because if you don't, you won't be able to progress. You'll have to come all the way back here to progress. Kind of lame, but you need to do it. So do it. Come up here, and there's a golden scarab. Again, there was a golden scarab in that casing back there. I think we have to come up this way. Yes, we do. So they make you come up this way anyway. Now, go to your projectile weapons. Whip out the incendiary shuriken after I just whipped out the windmill shuriken. Throw it at the wall. Let it blow up. It does do damage to enemies and, of course... Oh, shit. It does stick to enemies and walls and such. So, yeah. Remember that area back... Uh, God, back in the city. With, you know, the, the doors and stuff like that. Well, anyway... There was that wall with, like, the crack in it and stuff. Yes, we need to go back and break that wall down with incendiary jerkin. That's where that comes into play. Oh, damn it. He 
If you guys didn't know this already, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, like, how this game is most of the time. Uh, if you knock it, like, if enemy, like, just falls down, and you're like, I don't know if he's dead or not, he's probably dead. There's just no doubt, like, I mean, if he's on, a gr if he's on the ground, he's probably not dead. That's, that's the way I put it as, like, if, it, if there's an enemy on the ground, stab his ass, because he's probably not dead. If there's an enemy, like, he just... He's like standing up, but then he falls down to the ground. He's probably dead. That, that's how I've always kind of seen this as. Make sure to be careful with this jump right here, because you can easily fall off. Alright. We landed that one. That was pretty good. So we get a great elixir. Or, yeah, great elixir again. Spirit elixir. Come over here. Break this open. There should be a life of the gods somewhere in here. Yeah, no more of that item can be carried. We'll just use it. Hey, I mean, free help. You know, it basically is. Like, when you run out of... Yeah, we're, we're full on everything right now. Except for, uh, great devil elixirs. And same... Yeah. Yeah, same thing with both of, both of them. No, I, th no, I think, uh, we need ten for, uh, the, the fatter one. The bigger one. <laughs> there should be... Oh, nope. I guess we've got a great elixir. Alright. Cool. I'll, I'll take that. And, of course, another golden scarab, which will definitely help us in our... Currency towards Muramasa's shop, which is always nice to have. Uh, just trust me, getting like free prizes and shit, it's always nice to have that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. There should be a thing. I think this is like a... Oh, God. I don't remember how to do this. I don't remember what the number was. Because there's a book. Yeah, yeah, there's a book. Some, there it is. 27th day of the 12th month. I received the book of Eons. The note reads, at the end of the entry, there are, are notes reading left, right, right, left. I don't think you have to put in that exact number. I'll try it. So it's right, left. No, it's left, right, right, left. Right? No. <laughs> no, I think you go to, yeah, left, right, right, left. But it's the 27th day of the 12th month. So I think we go, like, left to two. Yeah, okay. And then we do... Yeah. You fucking asshole. The twelfth month is the twelfth fucking month. What, what other number will it be besides twelve? Unless the thing just glitched up a little bit. No, it's... Right. Right, right, left. I'm retarded. That was, yeah. That just makes things even more less complicated, I guess. Just for that, that particular reason. But there we go. We got the book of eons, which I don't exactly remember what we're supposed to do with it, but we're supposed to do something anyway. If we were playing on hard mode, there'd be necromatas, necromatas, or what do you want to call them? Those cat-like fiends spawning in here, which we'll probably actually get outside of this room. But yeah, usually in this room they spawn. So I don't know why these mage, this mage asshole is not using his uh. His mage's abilities. Instead, he's just dwelling with me with his dumbass scythe. Which I just now realized he even had a scythe. Uh, can we actually do a guillotine throw? I don't think we can yet. I don't think we had a guillotine throw. Guillotine. Guillotine. That's a weird word. Try saying, like, a word that you know for, like, you know, you've known for, like, ever. Just try and say it, and then try to also say it more than once at like one time just be like wow that's a word what the hell <laughs> it's really trippy shit I'm telling you god damn beat me up like this there now they're all dead uh, let's go back and get that essence real quick nope never mind we'll just wait for that door to open okay now we're good go back grab that essence come back here and oops open the door Ryu come on this is not hard walk out here I think we gotta go back down there because, I mean, there's really no other place we can go. Oh my god, that's not inverted. Oh yeah, that's right, we're gonna go back to the, uh... Yes! I remember. Completely. Probably charge up right here. What you guys think? Easy enough. Okay. I don't know where any of these douchebags are. The camera will not, you know, work with me today. I see one right there, but he's not coming over here. Dick. Oh well, screw him. I want to do like a, you know, a level 2 UT charge on his ass, but 
The game just says no, it, it's not necessary. You don't need to be doing that crap. Which is a lie! Okay. Now he's dead. There we go! Oh my god, that was awesome. Now, okay, that was really not that awesome, but it was still pretty cool. Admittedly, it was pretty cool. Like, all the weapons in, like, Ninja Gaiden are pretty cool. It's just... Whether or not you want to use them or not is up to you. But I like swords in the Ninja Gaiden franchise because the flying freaking swallow. Now in 2, the Eclipse Life does have a flying swallow move. Which actually, you know, he goes towards the enemy and like grabs him and then throws him on the ground, which is pretty badass. But, yeah. I don't always need the flying swallow, but I definitely need it. I, at least I think I do. Uh, let's see, I don't think this is even a cutscene. No, it's just a, it's a small cutscene opening the door. The doorway. This is why I get the Call of Cthulhu vibes in this level, because... You know, you go from the outer city, and then you go straight into, like, the church, and Ryu's not moving. It's not me, it's him. Maybe it was me, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you go inside, like, the church and shit, and, like, you gotta open that... That downstairs thing, which... It's funny how, like, in video games, they got this weird... Thing about churches and stuff and having like underground caverns or whatever which is completely strange I don't know if like any churches actually do that or not but I mean if they do shame on you no, I'm kidding so that was the windmill shuriken I just used right there and those were um, I think like ghost orbs or something like that they're just ghosty goes ghosty goos or whatever they are ghosty goos that's what I think they are at least oh god what is this Tomb Raider Pretty much. We actually have to, uh, run. Yeah. As soon as we blow up this wall right here, we have to run. Hopefully you kept your incendiary, Jerkins, because if you didn't, you would be losing. No, I'm kidding. If you didn't keep them, the game would just give you, like, it should give you shurikens anyway. What the game wants you to do right here sometimes is they want you to wall run. So, yeah, just make sure you want to run on the wall. Running from this boulder is not that hard. I don't know why I just did that, but I did. You can't actually, uh... Yeah, we can't even... Oh god, Jesus Christ, it's coming closer. We can't... Evade. We can't dodge. At the moment. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so boned. I'm so boned. I died. But they took us right back here. That's good. Oh my god, I hate this freaking cutscene. I just wish it would stop, because... It... I hate cutscenes like this. Where... You're trying to run away from like a boulder or whatever, right? And the game just gives you no time to run away from it because it's too busy in the freaking cutscene. And that just really bothers me a lot. No, outrunning him is not really that hard. It's just I failed so epically. Cause I can't I can't dodge jump. I can't, you know, roll jump. That's what I call yeah, roll jump. I can't roll jump in this game. No I, okay, I can I can roll jump in this game. It's just I can't roll jump at this moment, particular moment. Damn it! It's the spikes. They keep put me. They keep put me down. And Ryu doesn't run any faster than that anyway. Not until a three, though. Oh my God, he picks up speed when he's running. It's like fuck that shit. I'm out. <laughs> okay, so whip out. Of course. Wait, what? Which one was that? Oh, spirit. Okay. I was like, wait. I only have like one of those. Fuck you. We can whip out the windmill shuriken. We don't have to. We can use normal shurikens, but I recommend windmill due to the fact that. Yeah, it's just much more accessible and easy to use. I hate this area. It actually, I think, grabs essence. It should. I guess not. Lies. Lies from the abyss. There we go. We'll open this back up. Take this elixir. Again, free health. I'll take it at any opportunity that I have. The Wilbur Shuriken is good because it comes back. That's why it's good. I think you can actually charge it up, too. I don't know if that's a fact or not, but we'll find out, won't we? Eh, no. Okay. I always thought you could charge it up, but I don't use the damn thing enough. Well, that was an easy way to get down here. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's another easy way to get down. I completely keep skipping like half the level I'm supposed to be taking. Oh, we can open that. Okay. This leads me into like these moth buggers. Yeah, the Windmill Shuriken is definitely a really good weapon. I, I didn't use it before because I just didn't feel like, you know, whipping it out or something like that or just using it. Sometimes I just feel like using bow and arrow. 
But, you know, I, I never really said the Windless Shuriken was like that bad. I just don't tend to use it very much, as I should, probably. Use it. This area is a bitch. <laughs> Trust me, it is. Because when I first played this area, I had so much trouble getting back up. Which I'm probably going to. Just so you folks know out there, or watching. I'm going to have a lot of trouble getting back up on the top area of this. Because... For some reason, my platforming skills on Ninja Gaiden are not that good. Either it's because Ninja Gaiden platforming skills are not that good, or just... Yeah, or, or Ninja Gaiden platforming mechanics are not good, or I'm just really that bad at platforming games. Which, I actually just did that one go right there. What the fuck? Again, when I first played the game, I, I sucked ass at that. I could not get up there for the life of me when I came back. Because you have to come back through this way. That's where they want you to go from. Yep, and another save spot. They're giving us plenty of save spots because... God knows why. I mean, we had one, like, what, earlier? Right before we even came in this damn place. And then now we have one way up top. There's, like, I think maybe one in the middle. Maybe there was. Or at least this one's the middle one. I don't remember. I don't remember how many we had, but I know we've had plenty of save spots. If this was Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, that'd be great because then I can get my health back, but this is not Sigma 2, so... Therefore, we are screwed. At least the uh, Windmill Shuriken goes really far. It it launches really far. And of course, it's much, it's a much better item than using just regular Shurikens. It does more damage. As you could tell, obviously. The Shurikens are used for, like, stunning and stuff, but... The Windmill Shuriken is actually good for damage. Which is a surprise. I mean, you can kill somebody with Shurikens. But it, it's much better just to use the Windmill if you're going to try to kill somebody with it. And then again, you know, they're better for stunning, which I don't have any need to stun enemies. Because I just like going balls out, just killing these assholes. I don't care how I go about killing them, I just want them to die. You know, it's just, it's just a gaming thing, I guess. I was thinking about using the UT, but... The essence was already gone by then. No, I picked it up. I know what I did. It's just, it was gone by the time I wanted to do it, too. So, I'm like, okay. Whatever. Now, as you guys know, I do love to do Flying Swallow. It's an instant kill move, almost like 95% of the time. It kills an enemy quickly, and just, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of weird, like, I didn't even charge up my UT fully. I guess there's actually, like, a secret, like, extra UT, maybe. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Okay, so we got another thing. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Muramaza, you son of a bitch. You beautiful, bald son of a bitch. Okay. We'll upgrade the Dragon's Claw and Tiger's Fang. I think that's like level 3 right now. Or level 2. I don't know what it is. Alex? Check. Fine, I'll check. God damn. Alright. I think it's level... It's level 3, yeah. This is the first one we actually get to level up. It's level 3, wow. That's good. And I'll definitely take that damn life of the gods though. Which I need to go out and whip out. Actually, let's just use the two Life of the Gods we have now, because we're going to be using the Life of the Thousand Gods anyway. Might as well get these two out of the way, right? I know I said I'm going to wait until I get all nine, but fuck it. Sometimes, like, when I get a Life of the Thousand Gods, it's like, just why not get... Why not kill two birds with one stone, right? Or kill two stones with one bird. That just makes even more sense. <laughs> oh, goodness! Yeah, if we come down here... Oh, Jesus Christ! They're pissed. They are really pissed at me attacking them. These guys are much better than bats because bats take for like ever to kill. Even though they're still one hit, but they, they swarm around and they they fly all over the damn place. Okay, so there we go. We got another... Wait, which, which elixir, elixir was that? Great or small? Just normal? Okay. I can do that because I got plenty of health left for that. There we go. Come over here, press this button. I think we have to slam on it. There we go. Yeah, he does that automatically. I get like a Dante's Inferno vibe from this. But then again, Dante's Inferno came after this game. Like, way after this fucking game. But I get that, like, uh, that Dante's Inferno vibe. Which, again, was a game I really wanted to play on my channel a long time ago, but I couldn't because yeah, copyright issues and stuff like that. Again, it wasn't like bad copyright issues. It was just, you know, you had to like acknowledge it and stuff like that. It was for like every cutscene, too. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, Visceral is a damn good company. I love you guys. 
but the, you know the copyright from EA was just ridiculous. And I know like Visceral probably had nothing to do with it because they made the game. It's just EA wants the one. You know, they're, they're the ones that want the damn money. So here we go. We got the Vigorian Flail. Uh, it's actually a really good weapon because we're gonna save this shit. I'm, yeah, it's actually a really good weapon due to the fact it can do like multiple tons of combo hits and stuff like that. And it's really good. Every weapon is good for a specific type of enemy. Dragon Sword, everybody. Uh, well, not okay. Well, not everybody, but yeah. The Tiger's Fang or tiger, Dragon's Claw and Tiger's Fang. Pro, same thing, everybody, because you know it's everybody. Nunchakus, I really don't. I don't know what the fuck these are good for. Uh, Vigorian Flare is actually good for like the ghosts, bats, and zombies. So yeah, we'll actually see those motherfuckers later. I'll whip those out right now just to kind of show you guys what it does. Here's what a basic square combo looks like. And here's what a basic triangle looks like. Not the triangle combo. Here's what a UT charge looks like. Yeah, you just do the same thing like you always did, but you know, hey. This time, with nobody there to do it against. So, since we have a spot to save at, and I don't want to run the risk of possibly fucking up I want to go ahead and save it here and end off this episode it's a little it's a little bit shorter I know but we got a safe spot we got plenty of time to do this I'm gonna record like the ass out of this game like I did last week cuz I want to pump these sons of bitches out I love this fucking game this game is amazing and you know there's no hack and slash that comes even near this game I like Devil May Cry and I like God of War but there's no hack and slash like this game at all out there on the market. I've looked. There ain't shit. Because. <laughs> fuck it. Rant time. I went. I, okay. When I play a hack and slash. I tend to. Uh, move back and forth between the games I liked. Because I. You know. I was playing Bayonetta for a while. I beat the first one. Beat it on hard. It was easy. Uh, it was diff It was challenging. But it was. It was easy. That's actually the hardest difficulty because then there's infinite climax, which is hard mode without witch time, and that's bullshit. So you know, there goes that. That's just that's a gimmick. Like hell and hell, it's a gimmick mode. I don't like gimmick modes, but oh well. Yeah, you only put it twice. What the hell? Uh, so and then I went back and I played some Ninja Gaiden. You know, and I was playing Ninja Gaiden for a while, or mainly Devil May Cry, and I'm like, uh, you know, yeah, it was Devil May Cry. I was playing that for a little bit. And it was it was an easy transfer from Devil May Cry or from Bayonetta to Devil May Cry because obviously it is. And then I went and played Ninja Gaiden again, which is what I'm doing now. Ninja Gaiden Sigma One and of course Two. I've I've been playing like Two and Three forever, alongside Bayonetta. But I'm you know kind of like moving back and forth between you know them at the time. But then I after Devil May Cry I moved completely to Ninja Gaiden. And then one day. I remember how this order went. Oh my god. I went back to Devil May Cry. Played that for a little bit. Got used to that again, right? And then I'm like, I'm going to play some God of War. I'm going to play some Ghost of Sparta. I haven't played that in a while. I'm like, what the fuck is a block? There's a block? What the hell? What kind of game is this? I, I completely forgot there's a block button. And I was trying to do like a... I was trying to do like Ninja Gaiden Sigma rolls where like you hit L1 and you... You know, you move away, you jump away. That won't work. So I'm like... It has an evade, I know it does, but what the hell? It's a stick? <laughs> that, that's what got me, and then I went back to playing Ninja Gaiden, and I felt so much better, because Ninja Gaiden's faster, it's just... It's the best hack and slash franchise out there on the market. And what I mean by that is anything but 3. Like, 3 is bad, but it's fun. You know, that's the thing. And then you have Suda51 games, and they're okay. They're not really much but anyway folks no more ranting and without further that wasn't really that wasn't really a rant that was just more of like a story time without further ado i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all next time when we play some more of this game which is called ninja gaiden sigma you know i keep forgetting i even had the fire wheels i fucking care i, I don't even use nimpo i'm trying not to use nimpo as much as i can because it's just i don't want to waste all that stuff so without further ado i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all next time when we play some more ninja gaiden sigma and as always Take care, everybody.